What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. Today we have a hairline that wants to make a deal with God. It's running up that forehead with no problem. This clown is Matt Gates. If he was a talented pianist, his best performances would be in A minor. At least according to the federal investigation, he's under for alleged sex trafficking of an underage girl. He's a clown and a sex offender. John Wayne Gatesy. <laughs> if he wanted a career where he could put things in the mouths of children, he should have taken up pediatric dentistry. Although, I don't know that those are the cavities he wants to fill. But, as a sexual predator with semi-average intelligence and a disdain for accountability, Mr. Gatesy knew a political career as a Republican would be the way to go. <laughs> the P in GOP stands for pedophile, after all. Recently, Mr. Gatesy made an oopsie doopsie and decided to publicly roast abortion activists at a conference. He said they're odious on the inside and out. They're five foot two, three hundred and fifty pounds, and have ankles weaker than the legal reasoning behind Roe versus Wade. He said that they should get up and march for their rights for like an hour a day and even mix in a salad. <laughs> The resiliency of the willfully ignorant is almost inspiring in its own way. But since Matt wants to roast, let's roast. I don't know that he'll feel these sick burns over the burning of chlamydia. He's so sleazy, I imagine even his crabs have gonorrhea and syphilis. But I, too, am resilient. Matt strikes me as an individual who's never penetrated something that was sober, sniffs his sister's panties, and bites his bottom lip when he wipes his own ass. Speaking of, the way he holds those lips indicate he could be the product of fourth generation inbreeding. Is that why you're against exceptions for incest? Just curious. But then again, those derp lips could just be a side effect from the recreational cocktail of pharmaceuticals he swallows just to get through the day. His eyes are almost crossed like a Siamese cat's and his ghostly pale cheeks look squishier than a pouch of Capri Sun. Perhaps a salad might help. Well, slimming down those cheeks might make his gargantuan forehead look even bigger. The Yellowstone volcano could erupt and Matt's forehead would still be the biggest thing to talk about. All that space for a brain the size of Marjorie Taylor Greene's pores. Pea-sized. Anyone who tries to link lesbians being sexually assaulted to gays adopting children can't have a normal-sized brain. Those things go together like tonsillitis and peanut brittle. But all right. This big-headed bastard believes if the government forces all lesbian women to give birth to the babies that were a result of rape, then that will fulfill the need for adoptions by gay couples. It's interesting, though, that someone who just voted against codifying same-sex marriage is so concerned about the needs of gay couples, or did he not have the brain capacity to remember that he did that? Oh, well. Just as long as he remembers to stay 500 yards away from public schools and local parks. I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you support John Wayne Gatesy.